Hello, in this video I want to show you how to upgrade this 10.4 uh, inch NEC screen from CCFL to our UB5400 LED backlight kits. This kit contains one LED strip, one uh, MS456 uh, LED drivers and wire harness and aluminum foil. Um, this is a quite popular screen, the screen number is NLA680, I mean, okay, screen number is NL8060BC26-17, uh, it's 10.4 inch. Um, you know, if your application, if the space is kind of tight on your machinery or on your chassis, you can also uh, we, uh, request us to get this, what we call it, much smaller driver. Um, uh, you know, it's called 492, um, MS492 LEDD. This one is also compatible with this strip too. But, you know, if I would highly recommend use this one, unless you really need to use a smaller one, also it's available. Okay. So to upgrade from uh, C7 to LED screen for this NEC screen is quite simple. You just let me set that aside for this screen first. Basically, you just uh, the backlight reflect is you know it's it's right there. There's no screw, but there's a plastic clip here. You need to push it down. Just push it down. Push it out. When you push it out, just like that. Okay. All right. So um, here's let's take a look a uh, the refactor first. Uh, you know, it looks like it's gonna fit in. Well, definitely fit in. But if you look at the bottom really carefully, you see this? How about this? It's kind of rung up. So that means that would be a problem. Because the bottom's not wide enough to mount it, if you put it in, the, you, the, the backlight lamp will sit like this, not horizontally. So, which means that we cannot use this reflect lamp anymore. Okay? Can I use it? Set that aside. And you had two options. One option, you peel off the cover sheet, uh, double side cover, slice in, stick on the bottom. Okay. Uh, and next option would be, um, you know, purchase additional uh, 54 zeros heat sink and stick together and slice in. So spray heat much further. I would suggest that you buy additional one. Okay. So let's say this one's going to this one. Okay. Let me cut it. 54. Okay. Peel off this one. Okay. Off. Yeah. Okay. One side. Uh, carefully. All right. And before we do that, before we stick in, we're gonna test it. See what happens. Okay. Oh, make sure that all LED light lights up. And uh, okay, looks good. Okay. So peel off the last one this one uh, so it's much thicker so it, that that helps to spread the heat much faster especially your uh, working environment has really hot high temperature inside the room temperature so peel off you see that slice in on this side slice in on this side when finish it you push it back to backward see slice in the side when you finish you pull it back okay so anyway now it's all the way in so what we do is that usually you get a uh, much longer stick, skinny one, this one's a little bit big one, skinny one, you stick it in, push it, like I stick it in, push it, okay, stick it in, push it. This is very sticky uh, glue, uh, uh, double side glue, so I mean, it's, alright, it's done deal, so we're going to cover this, and uh, sorry about that, my dog was back. Hey Hugo, come on Hugo. Okay, so we're going to cover this one, light to prevent the light is uh, bleeding out. Let me see here, where is it? Okay, it's right there. Alright, so we're going to do the wire like this, and we're going to cover like this, probably. Yes, okay, we're going to cut it in half. Okay. Alright. Alright. See this? Okay. The other half, because I just peel off. Hey, be good, Hugo. Alright. Okay. See that? Perfect. Now the light is, is covered. If you want a couple of additional tip, that which I would recommend, it's okay. Just secure now this we have just finished the LED, uh, upgrade the LED. 
and um, we also have a um, controller kit available for this NEC screen which is uh, NLA060BC26-17 uh, which is using a TTL interface I want, just want to show you um, how easy it is to um, to test the screen uh, with the screen the result, the brightness level on the screens after upgrading the LED so we just simply quickly connect to uh, our controllers and I'll connect the VGA all right so but let me flick the screen over so that way you can see better okay all right so just connect the power uh, see what happened power up here we go okay it's pretty bright actually this is not set on the on the on a default which is a um, and consumes much less power again all right so it's actually pretty bright though oh let me turn it again. okay thank you for watching